Hello. In SAT or SAT, SAT Maths, uh, there is a section of uh, geometry. So we are doing quadrilaterals today. What is a quadrilateral? Any four sided figure is known as a quadrilateral. So this is a quadrilateral. There are four sides here. Now, if two of these sides are parallel, so what we get is known as a trapezium. So this is a trapezium. If in a trapezium these two lines as we can see are parallel and the other two lines are equal in length. So what we get here is known as an isosceles trapezium. In an isosceles trapezium if the top length is A and the bottom is B and the height is H so the area of this trapezium will be the average of top and bottom lengths times H so the area is A plus 2 A plus B by 2 that's the average of the top and bottom sides times the height okay let's do another shape if the opposite sides are equal and parallel here also they are also equal and parallel the other ones so what we get is a parallelogram in a parallelogram if one of the sides is a and the height is h so the area of this parallelogram is a times h that's it okay if a parallelogram has all angles equal to 90 degrees so what we get is a rectangle so in a rectangle the opposite sides are parallel as well as equal and all angles are 90 degrees if one of the sides is A, another side is B, so the area of the rectangle is A times B. If a rectangle has all sides equal, so what we get is known as a square. So if a square has, of course, A, here is also A because it's the same, so area of the square is A squared. Then if the square loses its 90 degrees so it's you can see here it's less than 90 degrees it is more than 90 degrees so what we get is a rhombus in case of a rhombus the diagonal of a rhombus this is d1 another is d2 so area can be calculated by doing this diagonal ones times diagonal 2 divided by 2 okay that was for SAP geometry today. Thank you.